What is up guys? Yes, I am making an intro to my first ever Hardcore Iron Man video when I'm already like a bit into the series. That doesn't matter because it will be at the start of the video. Just wanted to explain a couple of things. We're not going to have my gameplay from the moment I left Lumbridge because I didn't really know if I wanted to do the Hardcore Iron Man series yet. So I was literally spent about an hour or so fishing and cooking and I'm like, you know what? This seems fun. So yes, I'm really enjoying it. I'm going to 100% upload more of this uh, RuneScape Iron Man. Um, it's going to be pretty funny because no, I do not have much knowledge on this game. I've played it for a long time. I enjoy it a lot, but basic knowledge like where to get certain random items, I have no idea. So we're going to need to find that out the hard way. Uh, it's going to be pretty fun. So let's get straight into the video. <laughs> I have just finished getting two full sets of ham, doing a heap of thieving at the ham hideout. Uh, doing it so I can do Death and Direction quest right there. While I was here, I got an easy clue, so uh, we're gonna go do that. First clue, the Hardcore Iron Man. The first step is to search a crate to drain all mana. Alright, I'm close to that. That should be fine. May have forgot to record me opening it, but first clue on the Hardcore. 10.5k uh, GP, not too bad. Uh, Black Dagger, Black Heart, uh, Black Pickaxe, and a good old cash deck. Gotta love it. Now, gonna go, that was a three step clue, so it was nice and easy. I'm now gonna get back to doing Death the Direction, so I can get more money, hopefully. Alright, well, I'm at the stage of killing Sigmund right now, and, uh, it's going fine. He hasn't hit, oh, I've only got cakes for food, and I'm not sure how hard he can hit. And I've got... <laughs> The only defense I've got is a steel plate body and my Iron Man stuff, so... Ooh, this should be fun. And there we go. Death the Doric Shun completed. One quest point. The 2k thieving and range XP is nice. I'm level 1 range, we'll see how much that gets me. Uh, the ham storerooms is what I was after to make money. That's where I get jewelry, I'm pretty sure. So let's see. 34 thieving, 13 range. Look at that. That's beautiful. Now that we've finished Death the Direction, uh, we're gonna go to the ham lockers or ham storage rooms to get some money from the gems or necklaces, whatever you get, hopefully, so I can continue the feud. Because I've done all the way up until the end of it, pretty much, where I need to kill the two bosses. And I only had a good, like, okay enough mage level to hit him. He was hitting me too much when I was milleying, so I was trying to magic him. But uh, I couldn't kill him quick enough with Fire Strike, so he kept despawning before I got uh, before I killed him. So I need to make some money so I can actually use Earth Bolt. Can I use Earth Bolt? Twenty six. No, I need to use Water Bolt. But that should do the trick. So let's go. All right, right now we're back at the Ham Hideout. We are going down this little trap door that we found in the Death the Direction uh, quest uh, to go to the Ham Storage units. Pickpocket the guards to get keys and open these chests to get uh, gems and stuff. Uh, normally people would tally to like Lumbridge, Bank and then run back. But I'm just, I don't have the magic level or the runes at the moment on this hardcore. So I'm just going to run to Draenor and Bank and then the gems and jewellery I don't need. I will sell at this jewellery shop at Fort Sarum to make some money. So I can buy some runes and continue on with the feud. Okay, so we've pretty much been stealing these gems for half an hour because the pot, the system update down here popped up pretty much up right after I did my first trip. So we can just average it out to about half an hour of doing um, the, this thieving and we'll see how much I've got when I get to the bank. All right, we're in and we've got everything out except emerald rings and sapphires, but we're going to save them. Um, nothing has crept into this miscellaneous tab. No. Oh, no. That's my ring of life. Not a diamond ring. Okay. Uh, cool. Ring of life. I'm hardcore Iron Man's best friend. Let's make our way to the shop and get to selling stuff. Making money. I love it. Alright, so I've got a 30k cash stack pretty much just off about half an hour of um, thieving at those uh, storage units and I can't even sell like the rubies or the sapphires that I got 
plus the uh, rings that are still in the bank. So you're making a little bit. It's like, it's not the best money, obviously, but as a hardcore Iron Man with like barely any money making stats at all, it's actually really helpful. So now, pretty much what I'm going to do, I'm going to go buy runes to cast bolt, water bolt, and then complete the feud. Because that, uh, the thieving XP, no, yeah, it's thieving XP. The thieving XP from the feud is like 15k, maybe, I think. So it's going to be a big chunk. It's going to be awesome. So let's get to it. Boys, tough guy is getting hit this time. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. Tough guy. Except, tough guy. it's still very minuscule. Surely, surely I'm going to kill him. <laughs> I swear to God. Oh, Okay, I'm, I am splashing a fair bit. I got no prayer to cast uh, Mystic Will either. Shit. Yeah, five and a half thousand heads. Oh my god, stop! Don't watch me! <laughs> 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 it's a struggle! I'm not gonna kill him! <laughs> Dude, so many splashes! <laughs> I'm here for moral support. No. Uh, I got this. Watch it. Please, please do the cheer animation. <laughs> Look at this guy. Is your new graceful? Oh no, no, no. Uh -oh, no. Look at this dude. <laughs> oh no, no. <laughs> oh no, he's gonna taste <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> you don't realize how good this is right now. This is. Oh, I'm not killing him. He's got 45 health left. I was literally so confident after I got it. Oh, that 10 though. Oh, back to back hits. Come on. <laughs> Look at this dude. Come on, Moose. You got this, Moose. <laughs> 28 health. He's got 28 health. Come oh, on. The, the sound is over for the soundtrack. <laughs> I skipped it. I'm not even kidding. That was the perfect timing if you had seen what was on my screen. <laughs> Come oh, on, God. Moose. Don't splash on me, Moose. <laughs> this is not funny. You, you hit a zero. I hit a zero. Like, what? <laughs> that connected Ooh, was a zero. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Come big on. boy hit. Come on. Big... How much did you hit? Seven. You hit a seven. <laughs> I've hit a ten. I've hit a ten. This is taking way too long. <laughs> the snake needs to get out of here. It is not allowed. <laughs> it cannot witness greatness. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, Ooh! Come on! Eleven health! Double digits! Okay, one more big hit. Come on, <laughs> come on. Six! Come on, please! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, dude! I need a hit. Please! Ah, oh, it's a 33. What is that? <gasps> yes! <Ooh. laughs> you got him! Yes! <laughs> oh. About time. You get the loot. It's like a blackjack, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Willow, Willow Blackjack. Blackjack. Yes! <laughs> Wait, where's my... Uh, woo! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> the dance. So that took... That took 81 casts. And I've got 119 left and I still need to kill the other one. <laughs> Shit. Nice. Woo. Easy peasy. All because of your moral Just... support there, Swirl. Woo. All because of the moral support. <laughs> yep, it's the moral support. And there you go. The feud completed. 15,000 experience. Unlocked the blackjacking. And I've got the desert disguise. What thieving level does it give me? 41. That is awesome. Right, we've just obtained our second cast it. casket on the hardcore Iron Man. Let's open it. See what we get. And... No. I don't know. I can't complain. It's an easy clue. Let's get back to making some money. Just got another clue. Fourth one. Come on, give me something good. Well, I don't have a staff of air, so that's something. But it's pretty average. And if I just talk to King Arthur, that should be Merlin's Crystal done. Six quest points and Excalibur. I just got a, uh, another casket, my fourth clue I think. I had to run away because the bats were attacking me and I got, they were doing some damage. So uh, let's open, see what we get. The fourth clue, ugh, oh, it's not that good. It's worth 3.3k 3 .3 approximately. 
super good air stuff. Yeah, it's just basic, basic, easy clue stuff. Rightio, boys. I have just done the ham lockers or ham storage rooms, whatever, for a while and gotten myself over 100k. And when I get back to the bank, I will show you what I've got left or what I've kept. All right, so we've got this left. Got 40 sapphires, 14 emeralds, which is really good for like the recoils and the jeweling rings, the diamond rings for the ring of life, which we're gonna probably definitely use because I'm shit at the game and probably gonna die a lot. And hopefully these guys, these bad boys are gonna save my ass. Anyway, um, if with this in, Banks worth about 550k, which is not too bad at all. Alright guys, I'm going to end the video right here. I'm really enjoying this series. I reckon it's going to be pretty fun to do. I'm uh, just going to end the video on my main doing a raid here. Getting absolutely nothing, as you just saw. Uh, new video should be coming out soon. Hope you guys enjoy. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face.